But JP Morgan, bring those assets here, boy. Because apparently, they had to pay $220 million in a, in a settlement for some nonsense. I'm going to pull it up right now. Was it 220 $220 million, bro. It might have been more than that. You think so? I, I, it was crazy. Because I'm like, yo, JP Morgan, what are y'all doing that you got to pay? Oh, is, is this the right one? Hold on, guy. We getting it right now. Dang. So what exactly happened with him though? Like, what's the whole idea of the settlement? So look, J.P. Morgan. Basically, what happens is they're just manipulating markets. Like, you can't you can't be doing that. It's basically they're they're putting in these like huge contracts, and they're not fulfilling it. So they're saying like, oh, we're gonna place an order for this much commodities, and they're not fulfilling the order. So basically, other people who see the market price go up, they're like, oh yeah, the price is going up because there's so much contracts right here, and they put money in. But then JP Morgan's like, nah, we're not fulfilling those contracts. So all the people who put the money in there, they're gonna lose all their all that money. Mm. While JP Morgan still profits off of that that situation. So basically, this large entity, very reputable, mm. very very renowned, mm. puts a market, puts a buy at, at a certain price. Mm -hmm. The market rises to meet that like large order. Precisely. And then once either some companies are like, oh, that price is too high, mm -hmm. so they don't even go in, or other companies are like, all right, fine, like we'll. We'll right, take yeah. it. Then they cancel the order. Right. Drop the price. Then the mm -hmm. people who did buy lose. And then the people who chose not to buy didn't get it because it doesn't exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. definitely market manip manipulation. And I feel like what they're probably doing too, they're probably buying low a little bit and then pushing it up crazy like with potential orders. Mm -hmm. And then they'll sell high and they'll cancel all their orders. Mm -hmm. So that anybody else who's in that, who's had it at that price. They're done for because they're gonna lose all that money when it goes back to the actual original price that it was. Yeah, it's definitely scheming. That, that shouldn't be allowed. But the thing is, they first don't do my boy Jamie Dimon like this. I, I I like Jamie Dimon. Of course. So I'm like, why they, they got him on? The, they got him his picture right here. Like he's some type yeah. of you know finesse god. Like mm. this guy's out. Come on, don't do him like that, bro. He's not a finesse guy like that. It's some probably some guy like some middle manager like other exec that's probably mm. was in charge of the situation. Don't do my boy Jamie. He like definitely this. knew about it though. You feel so? I, I mean, as a CEO. When especially like large scale contracts, like he was definitely aware, and I'm not gonna even like hold him. Like, mm. if, if you could get away with something, it's not moral, at yeah, all. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I like, agree. I mean, JP Morgan's at the almost at the top, and like, that's probably part of it. The thing is, JP Morgan got caught, but I feel like there's a lot of other financial institutions oh, that are doing things like this, but they don't get caught. And JP Morgan probably was you know, probably a little cuber. still like mm -hmm. we've been doing it on a small level and I getting caught. That's how let's turn it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. They dialed it up, got booked. Dude, they're a hundred percent in contact with Deutsche Goldman, like, alright, we're about to do this, we're about right. to put in an order for a million. They're all on the same page. And then maybe perhaps they were just ahead of this like particular mm -hmm. uh scenario of market manipulation, but everyone's in on it. Nah, somebody had to snitch, bro. Somebody had to snitch. I'm trying to think of it. It's like I feel like one bank was like, "Nah, JP Morgan getting me tight." Like Jamie, he thinks that he's doing too much. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna get him right now. Mm. Cause I feel like somebody had to. They said, "We wish, you know, we wish there were blah 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 blah." Yeah, I don't know. Somebody had to snitch on these boys. Cause it, it don't make sense how they got booked to me. Yeah, maybe an insider dropped out. Was like, "I right, let me make a quick buck," or maybe it was just completely like guided through his like own morals, and he was like, "This is completely wrong." Yeah, what if you're like working at a company, right? And you know your company is doing something slime, right? And you got say like you you got fired, whatever. You just had to leave the company, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody like a, a news publication came to you, like, yo, we'll pay you like fifty k if you just give us some like dirt on the company. If I got fired, uh -huh. oh, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, that's what, that, <laughs> that's what everyone does. Like, if you think about uh, what's that new Netflix thing that the came social out? media dilemma. All those people work at very reputable companies. I doubt any of them got fired, but like, right. it makes sense to if you're no longer with that company and you can no longer like make a living or make money with that particular organization. Mm. And then you have a way to do so. So make a documentary or mm. some news journalists like, yo, post this, like, give us some news. And then mm. you make money. Like, it, I think that's human nature almost. Nah, you, did you watch it on social media? Delight? I said I haven't watched it. I'm uh, like 10 man, minutes in. Yo, everybody, if you tune into the podcast, time. you got to watch it. We spoke about it last. Was it last time? Yeah. Might yeah, have been last one. Yeah. yeah. Spoke about it. Social media is fire. But the thing is, I say that it's like it's true though. These guys come from like these huge companies like Twitter, Facebook, Google, all this mm. stuff, and they just start going in like honestly, like started off as a company that I, I loved, man. Yeah, I loved Google when I first started working there. I loved Twitter. And man. now that they're no longer there, suddenly there's it's all crazy. these facts and like figures about how terrible it was when they were there. They're like honestly, the environment is so unethical. Like, 
<laughs> I just saw people they just they just want to make a buck. Mm-hmm. Like bro, when you were there, you wanted to make a buck. So don't make yeah. it seem like there's some like wow. Nah, that's a fact. It, it's too much going on there. Companies had to do better. 